everybody, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I'm here with Steve. We're talking about Final Cut Pro 10.4 and specifically 360 video editing. Yes, we want to continue on our world... Our world tour? Our world, world tour, <laughs> yes, exactly. I want to talk a little bit about reorienting the camera. I mentioned that a couple of episodes back, yes. why you want to reorient the sphere in 360. Perhaps the camera was pointed in the wrong direction. Yes. Or maybe it's in the right direction, but the subject isn't where you want them in the frame. Right. Right, so um, frame, I use the term frame loosely because the camera shoots everything, yes. but the viewer still looks at the world in a frame. Yeah, you're still looking at a rectangle. If it's in a magic window of a YouTube window or Facebook right. or looking through a headset or Google Cardboard or something, you're always looking at some portion of that sphere. Yes, exactly. In fact, we refer to that as, as field of view. That's the, so uh, we, as editors, actually become more of a director when we're editing 360 video because we determine the default orientation of where people are looking. Right, but even more than that, because uh, as a viewer, I can look wherever I want. Right. Not like traditional cin cinema, the director says, no, you're looking at this, you're looking yeah. at that, and you're looking at this wide, this, this close up, this, you know, this medium shot, this wide angle. But the viewer in 360 can look anywhere. So how do you get them to look where you want them to look without, yes. letting, without them thinking that you're getting them to look where you want them to look? <laughs> no, it's, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, right? so, tricky stuff. So let's look at reorienting the sphere and then keyframing it to keep our subject where we want them. Cool. All right, so here's, I have a couple examples. So I have this shot of, of, of me in a kayak. In a kayak. Uh -huh. And I don't even know if you noticed, but I'm, my body's going back and forth. So the horizon is going, the horizon oh, is- because the kayak's tilting and the camera's mounted on the kayak. Right, and so the, the, the horizon's literally changing. So here's, yeah. here's a situation where you might want to keyframe the, uh, the horizon so it stays uh -huh. stable if you wanted to. Here's another example of my wife Jill on her morning ride with her favorite horse, Blaze. And she's in, the, she's in the center of the magic window here. And you can see in the equal rectangular view, she's in the center of the world or true north, what we call true north. Now, if I move towards the end of the clip, because she's on a horse and she's yeah. holding the camera, you can see she's got the selfie stick with the camera there. Yes. Uh, it's, she's no longer in the center oh, of the So by the end, she's drifting but, off to the, the left. Right, yeah. so here's a situation where you as the editor can be the director and kind of subtly force the viewer's perspective where you want them. Uh, so if they just keep looking in one direction, you can shift it for them. You, yep, exactly. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to about, where, where you can see that things start drifting around, let's see, right, it's here. Um, by the way, when you're doing this, I highly recommend that you uh, turn on the uh, show horizon guides. And this is really important because you could see where your subject is relative to the equator and the prime meridian, yes. the one, right? Yes. And by the way, these hash marks are useful. This is, that hash mark is 45 degrees, that one's 90, 90 and that uh, one's 135. Okay. Relative to the prime meridian. Every 45 degree increment around, exactly. around so, the sphere. So it's helpful when you're reorienting, okay, where is she relative to the prime meridian? Okay, you can see that she's drifting off and now she's at the 90 degree Yes, so you would have to look all the way to the left to see her. You'd have to look all the way to the left to okay. see her. See, so, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and start here. And let's go ahead and open the inspector, Command 4. And we're going to go ahead and set a keyframe for pan. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And by the way, keyframes turn yellow now, which is really handy. It's, yes, they're much it's, easier to yes, see. Yes, better. Okay? Now, I'm going to simply move the playhead where she's kind of really getting away from the prime meridian there. And I'll just write right there. And I'll just grab this, put my mouse pointer inside the pan, hot scrubber, and I'll just kind of move her over here, like right, right about there. Because that's where she was originally. originally. Yes, yes. And that's where those hash marks become a really big deal. Yes. Okay. And let's go ahead and look at this. In fact, I'll turn this off. Actually, don't leave it on so you can see what's happening. So I'll go ahead and play this back. And you'll notice that she's staying relatively in the same place throughout the course of the clip because we forced the viewer through keyframes yeah. to stay there. Nice. And you've, if you wanted to adjust the position of those keyframes, you could control V on that clip and you'd probably see them where you could drag them in time left or right. Yes, that's if, a really if good. If you want to decide, oh, it needs to move a little sooner or later. Right, in fact, that's what, you're, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm glad you brought that up. I've, I pressed Control V, and now I have access to the keyframes. I can move them earlier or later in time. Beautiful. 
So it's another tool in your tool set, your 3R, your 360 VR tool set yeah. for subtly shifting the viewer's focus yeah. without them realizing you're shifting their focus. Yeah, so they can continue to look all the way around, but when they go back to their original position, your subject will still be where it was at the beginning. That's correct. Nice. Very good. Very nice way to, to clean up and make the video a little easier to watch in 360. Yep. Great. So you guys, uh, 360 video tutorial in depth that Steve has at rippletraining.com. Definitely check that out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on MacBreak Studio.